Good morning, everybody. We are here at the Hall's house, courtesy of the Kobe house. Catherine, Jonathan, and the girls, K to Kai Care Call. We are gonna make resurrection roll recipes, which they dropped off yesterday. Preston, are you ready? <laughs> All right, you guys, we are your host. I am head of the uh, chef department, Carson Hall, and this is Chief Inspector of Culinary Arts, Trip Hall. All right, here are our materials. One, two, three, that's about eight uh, marshmallows. Have one pack of eight crescent rolls, our stick of butter, cinnamon, and our sugar in one. Our large muffin tin right here. Our non sticking spray right there. Ch ah, Chip, get that out of here, what is this? Step zero, or uh, prepping in advance, we have melted for about 30 seconds the butter in a bowl. And we, if, if they're not already mixed, mix the sugar and the cinnamon. <laughs> You're gonna mix it? Thank you, buddy. Our head of filming, Mommy Hall, has already sprayed with the spray the muffin pan. Step one, take the marshmallow. Ready to take it, bud? The marshmallow represents Jesus, who is sinless, blameless, righteous, and pure. Unfortunately, even though Jesus was perfect, there were people who hated him and wanted to crucify him. They wanted him to die, so they crucified him on a cross and left him there. Step two, roll the marshmallow in the melted butter, then in the cinnamon sugar mixture. Then place it, after you got sugar on it, in the crescent roll. Chief Inspector, you're not supposed to eat this. What Jesus' friends didn't know was that while they were sad and confused that he had just died on the cross, what was happening was Jesus took on all of God's wrath on our sin. That's right, Trip. Jesus took all the punishment away so we didn't have to take it when we put our faith in him. Notice how the cinnamon has made Jesus, our pure marshmallow, dirty. As I wrap the crescent roll, this represents Jesus going into the tomb. Seal it on every corner. After Jesus' friends buried his body in the tomb, they went home for the night and left. They were still sad. For our resurrection rolls, the last step is to put them in the oven, which we preheated to 375. Chief Inspector of Culinary Arts, did you do that? Yes, you did. Good job. Hey. <laughs> Let them bake for 10 minutes or until golden brown. Patiently wait for your resurrection rolls to finish. <laughs> After three days, Jesus' friends went back to the tomb and they found something incredible inside. <gasps> the tomb was empty. Jesus rose from the dead and he's still alive today. When you put your faith in Jesus, you can have a new relationship with God. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Enjoy your resurrection rolls. Step one, take the marshmallow. This, jeez. Is my forehead being showing? Do you like my apron? Because Casey made it in seventh grade. <laughs>